Hi and welcome to the Geek League of Doom. This is a superhero movie review and I'll be having a look at the movie Blade. So I find Blade quite an interesting movie and I actually count this film as the first of the kind of modern superhero films. Uh, I know you had to think the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher Batman films before that but ultimately they ended up killing the genre for a, for a short amount of time. Blade basically tells the story of a the title character played by Wesley Snipes who is a kind of half-breed vampire, half-human, half-vampire. His mother was actually bitten by a vampire whilst pregnant with him, which caused him some sort of genetic slight transformation into a vampire, but not the full way. So basically, he has the strengths, the, the abilities of a vampire, but not, not all of their weaknesses. For example, he can go out on during the day. Uh, and he, he can kind of also control his bloodlust a little bit better because he has a bit more of his humanity inside him. Although he does still have to feed on blood. We cut to him in an adult life and he's actually teamed up with another sort of vampire hunter called Whistler and together they basically go and hunt down all the vampires that they can find. The main um, antagonist here is a vampire called Deacon Frost who is kind of a younger vampire but he's trying to sort of want to become the, wants the vampires to become more overt and ultimately sort of take over the humans whilst the kind of the ruling class of the vampires want to sort of live more in sort of secret. And Deacon Frost's plan is to ultimately sort of reincarnate this kind of vampire god to be a, a kind of real force against humanity and ultimately sort of rule them rather than kind of living in the shadows. So it's up to, um, to Blake to try and stop him ultimately. So this film was made in 1988, a year before the Matrix film. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Matrix, that sort of style of of sort of very fast paced sort of action sort of martial arts obviously with la with flowing leather coats you may think it was the matrix first but actually i think it will you'll find it was a year before with blade i'm not saying the matrix is uh wasn't groundbreaking but all i'm saying is that i think blade, blade maybe doesn't get the sort of recognition it deserves sometimes unfortunately well as you say this film was probably the first superhero film that was skewed to a bit more of an older audience. Now Blade as a comic book character was a very very minor character. He never even had his own comic book and was just more a guest star in various other comic books, most notably the team of Dracula. Uh, and this film wasn't really marketed as a, a comic book film as such, more of, more of just a vampire film. But however it, the, the studios then saw obviously the potential in having sort of a more slightly adult orientated uh, well, not, maybe not adult oriented, but maybe, maybe this not aimed at kids, like ultimately you had with, for example, Batman and Robin. And this really started the sort of new superhero genre as we see it. Then you had sort of like the Spider-Man film and the X-Men film come out sort of a couple of years later. So what is this film actually like? Film? I, th I think it's a really decent film. With these likes makes, makes a fantastic blade. You don't see much of his character, admittedly. He's kind of this very sort of stoic character and doesn't really have much of a personality himself, which I guess you could say is possibly a little bit of a criticism. But nevertheless, you do find him interesting. He's a really, very imposing force. There's an interesting uh, sort of plot here with a, a kind of female character as well. And the, in, the, the, the reason why I like it is it isn't a romantic plot. There's a, a female human that kind of gets involved with them as well. But she's not played as a romantic interest, she's just played as an ally, which I think is really good. And you don't see it very often in, in these films, I have to say, or any film for that matter. I think maybe Deacon Frost was possibly a little bit underdeveloped as well. Um, I do like Stephen Dorff in the role, but I think maybe he, he could have done a bit more fleshing out. I guess the main criticism you, you'll, you'll have of this film comes with some of this, the effects which do look a little bit dated the, these days. And this wasn't a, a massive budget film for its time. So obviously it was not, no one had heard of Blade in this, uh, the mainstream. So it was a bit of a risk and it really paid dividends with the studio. But because of that, initially there wasn't a huge budget put put behind it. Uh, but I think it's a really effective film. I think it's the, I personally feel it, it's the film that kickstarted the modern superhero genre. Uh, and it really deserves another look if you haven't seen it for a while. I haven't seen it at all in that matter of fact. So I'm going to give this film an 8 out of 10. Great superhero film, great vampire film. Go check it out if you've not seen it. Bye for now.